live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. In today's video, we have a Victron Blue Solar Charge Controller MPPT 100-30. So 100-30 right here is a 100 volt input and 30 amps max output. It can go varies all the way to 35 when you, you know when you get a peak time you can produce more power the panels it's not going to ruin the machine but this is what it is but you don't want to put it all the way 100 volt inside this thing you have to be below that threshold so you have to be within the mppt um, algorithm mppt mode so that you can able to get more efficiency on this thing so it's a five years comes with a five-year warranty anytime you buy I end product and um, this is not the Bluetooth version I, I was thinking is a mistake but um, I learned from my mistake mistakes um, we have up to 100 volt PV open circuit so if you have panels that can produce up to about 45 volt open circuit which is the VOC you can't put two of them in series because you almost take you to that level. 45 or so is already a 90. So you have to stay with the panels within about 35 something. Anything above maybe 40 max. Then you can able to utilize this guy. Put two panels in series. But you have to be below. Below. You have to give the, air of the charge controller to breathe. You know. And... Uh, Temp, it, it just takes a self-discharge. Some people worry about, you know, the machines at nights. Mostly people that worry is just the one that don't have enough battery bank. So pulling a 10 milliamp self-consumption, that's awesome. That's nothing. But if you have a little battery bank, you worried about every drop or every pinch on your battery. And if that's your greatest worries about self-discharge or self-consumption, man, Maybe you have to work, start working on, uh, on getting a big battery bank. Okay. So 30 amps input current. Up to 30 amps. It is charging. And uh, check this out. This um, charge controller only operates on... 12 and 24 volt. Anything with Victron, which is a 10, uh, 100 slash 30, is a 12 something. But anything that goes to the 150, the 200, they can run the 12, 24, 30, uh, and 48 volt. So the only MPPT 120 is the one that works on 12, 24, 36, 48 volt. That's the only one. That's the only one on uh, Victron. So look it up here. Yeah, you see exactly what I'm talking about. See, H is 8 pre-programmed charge algorithms. So this is the only one. This one doesn't have any Bluetooth uh, capability. While the other ones does. Anything within the high end the five hundred dollars and six hundred, eight hundred, all the way up, you can able to get a Bluetooth capability. So this one is capped, okay, and is designed in the Netherlands, Europe, made in India, Asia. So all these programs were sent to these guys to do the work for them which is Victron basically to my understanding is a German um, company so if I'm wrong correct me this is our first product here with a Victron okay but um, I know it's a German um, equipment European and they have a strong reputation and they've stand there along with uh, other tough machines and Victron is always always in my mind but um, the equipments are not cheap 
they are very expensive. So, likewise, the other ones made in America. So, this is the unit. But to my surprise again, I was thinking um, it's going to come with a dongle. Like I said, I'm a rookie to this, the product, but this is what it is. It has a huge heat, uh, heat sink, black, so it's a passive cooling system. It doesn't have any fans. If you don't like fi fans, noise, and all that stuff, so you have to go with these, or if you go with the uh, Midnight Solar, the kid. Midnight Solar, the kid. It's almost it's bigger than this one and it's a passive cooling okay and you can see there are some regulate regulators there if you can only focus there you go I think here is for the different uh, batteries that you can able to connect into this thing that's how you configure it I think it has a default mode like I said, I haven't read this thing yet, and you can have the, the VE Direct, which is going to be the dongle. So since you don't have the, um, the, uh, the Bluetooth capability, most of them, the Bluetooth capability sign is going to show right here, somewhere there. It's going to show the indication of Bluetooth. So I didn't look good, but the price was right, and I was like... Um, it came out of the open box, so it was cheaper, and um, I got some solar spending money, which, um, you know, the channel bought me, so I ended up utilizing it, took the advantage, it's cheap, it's not that expensive at all, compared to what, for 30 amp, but the only thing I didn't see coming here, I didn't know that you have to have the the ve direct i understand about the dongle i've seen it before but like i said this is the first time i'm utilizing this so we have only the pv in here and the battery side here see some of them other charge controllers like the kid midnight they have the load on them and um this is going to be the at ground not right here it can tell you how many this guy i think can take up to about uh about 880 watts 880 watts of solar and about 440 watts on 880 watts on 24 volt solar panels and it takes 440 watts on a 12 volt so if you want to know do the calculation the volt times the amps that tells you exactly that's the calculation then you will see if i'm correct so did you see right what i'm talking about right here so 40 amp minimum up to about 50 amp max so guys this is what it is just a quick review on this and um i hope it makes sense and for those of you haven't get in contact with this before so i'm just a rookie just like uh any of you guys there but um the uh, channel bought me this one and uh, we want to make sure that we review it. So I have to buy the dongle now. The dongle, we need that to program this guy because it doesn't have a display. Some of the IN ones has a display right here. But I think there's an opening where you can buy the external display and just plug it all the way in. See that? So this one you cannot program now the way it is. It has a default, which is a 14.4 volt i think it's the highest one which is the, the 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 charge and the flow was 13 something so you they just put it 
yeah so this is what it is you're not gonna have the top balancing and it goes all the way to 13 something which is the um, nominal voltage which is the the bulk and the absorb is gonna go all the way to 14.4 that's the just the basic or the 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 um the default setting if you don't have the remote so it has indications right here every charge it tells you what state it is right now is a bulk state of absorption or float this light's going to indicate illuminate so we have to get a dongle so because of we don't have the dongle we cannot program it because we have the dongle we can able to program that because we're going to do, download the victron um energy app and we can go about and go through the specs there it's going to do a firmware update and all the cool stuff before we're going to able to program this uh this guy okay so i have to buy that and um it cost i've seen someone that's selling it very close to 49.99 for 50 bucks some of them are selling 59 bucks so we just have to use ours that money is going to come live from me but this is the channel bought this so well this is for my little project with a uh, little uh portable generators i'm building so uh, it's expensive to buy uh, a midnight kit they are not cheap it runs within within the four five hundred dollars or something and it depends who sells it too but sometimes some people say well why can't i just buy the classic 150 or 200 or 250 so you can get it depends if you're a lucky guy you can have it so we never try a victron so this is the first um opportunity because i'm going to be using it onto these uh portable generator boxes there i'm setting up to do because i want everything to be a passive i would like to have the um i would like to have the uh the victron inverter for the first time so this guy is going to be something of this nature and uh, i already got some pre drill hole here holes it's not corresponding properly but i want this guy to be something of that nature it sits right on the middle or at the top or we're gonna end up having it somewhere on the sides here so i can have the dongle on the other side okay so it can just be really neat because this guy doesn't have any meter i don't worry about it I don't want to put it inside the box because it's going to generate heat and uh, with no fans and uh, trying to compromise the batteries they have built in BMS into them that will be a one hole ball is <laughs> a is a change is a big deal so we're not going to go about it so I know there's a a manual right here it's almost like a booklet a mini booklet that's how Victron is because I have the shunt, uh, smart shunt, and it's just crazy. They have one old pamphlet, a book you can read for their product because they don't want you to uh, do anything uh, crazy or just they're trying to protect their uh, integrity or support their product properly. That's what it is. So check this out. Let's go ahead and put it into try. I'll let you know. Like and subscribe when we get a dongle. We can do that and stay tuned.